I went through the first cartoon with them because I wanted them to be really successful and because the advantage of these two particular cartoons is that they have the same set of symbols. So they fill out a packet um, and then they have a couple of questions about what do you think the overall opinion that he's trying to say here is. And we did that together, me leading them through it. And then the second part, uh, they were in buddies and we have social studies buddy with buddies which are high-low pairs. And in buddies, they then had the second cartoon and they had to fill out the same kind of table where they pulled out what they see and what they thought it me meant and then answer a question about what did they think that the cartoon was telling them at the end. There's a big wave yes. and when you compare it to that, right? The bird is still there. Okay, the boat changed its name, didn't it? The he's mad, how do you know he's mad? Okay, his eyebrows and look at his hat. Okay, he looks like he's mad, right? Okay, so we need to write that down. We need to write down his face and we need to write the man. Good work. What do you say? He's trying to like trying to fight the storm. Oh, it looks like he's fighting the storm, doesn't it? What tells you that he's fighting? He's not running away from the storm, is he? Does he look afraid? No. What do you think? Uh, could be. He's mad at the storm. He's mad. Right? And he's he's not running away from the storm. What's he doing? Okay. Trying to get a, trying to fight the storm. He is trying to fight the storm. Okay, and what's the storm? What's it called? Integration. Yeah. yeah. Integration. They're they're like having a war. Okay, it looks like he's fighting. How do you know that he's fighting? Because everything's like all messed up and says integration here. And this is like the Supreme Court. Okay, so here's integration, and he looks like he's fighting it. If you saw a big scary storm like that and waves like that, would you fight it like that? What would you do? I would... If you were on that boat and there's a big scary storm, what would you do? Try going to shore. Turn your boat around, right? Turn your boat and get out of there, right? Okay, what is he doing? He's like, he's keep on going. He is, right, and look at his body. And Remember his mad. body before, he was kind of like, What's going on? What's he doing now? Like, yeah, what's that? Yeah. What's he doing? What's he saying? He's fighting. Yeah, he's fighting it. And how's he fighting it? It's important to notice that the boat has changed. Look at the other one. Okay? The public schools are closing. Storm. You did perfect right here. Storm. And it says with integration, the boat. Okay? And what are the other things that you see? Break it all into pieces. The title says Riding Out the Storm. Okay, and you can write down the title. So you can write that down. Okay, first make a list of all the things that you see and then go back and try and figure out what each one means. Okay, you don't have to understand it all right away. They're able to really get that they're both talking about a problem, they're both talking about integration, they're both talking about a problem with integration, um, and that at first they don't know what to do, and then they have this idea that they're just going to hold it out. So um, unlike in other lessons where I, I had to do a lot more prompting and assisting, um, I, I really, I didn't, I mean there were a couple of times that there were certain groups that were pulling apart wave and lightning and cloud into separate boxes and so I feel like they were missing the point of a storm. So I did for them sort of say, well I think those things all go together and what do we call that and, and kind of encourage them in that way. Um, but the things I really wanted them to get, they really looked at his face. And, and that's his body language and his face tells everything about how Virginia was, was dealing with this.